Hello everyone, my name is Inez. You're very welcome here to hear the word of the Lord. Thank you for all your love and support on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. You'd be blessed and all the links that you need to know are down below. So I have a wonderful word for you today, all about our Lord who is coming to visit those in their homes. He is touching the hearts of many. As the Spirit of God is touching those, is healing those who are broken and who need him and who are lost. So let's pray. So Father, in Jesus' name, we worship you, Almighty God, our Creator, our Father, Maker of heaven and earth. We glorify you this day. We worship you this day. We give you thanks this day. Holy Spirit, I ask you to have your way, Lord, as I speak this message to your people. And thank you for all those who are listening, God. May they be changed and edified and strengthened this day in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So God is good all the time. God loves you. God does not abandon you. You know, when we look at Jesus in the New Testament, a lot of the times he's walking into people's homes. He's speaking to them. He's teaching them. He stops and speaks to those who you wouldn't think he talked to because he wasn't religious. He went to the people. He sat with the people. He wasn't with his hands up, you know, in the temple and all holy, holier than thou. He was with the people and he was laughing and he was, he was speaking to them. It's lovely when you actually look at who our Lord Jesus was in human form when he was here. So the word of the Lord for you today is very simple. He wants to come and visit your house. Those in your household, God is doing miracles. God is changing things. He's turning things. The shift is in process. But he's touching the hearts of those who you've been praying for. Who haven't received salvation yet. Who haven't accepted the Lord yet. But also healing broken hearts. But also dealing with the character of many people. Prideful people. Nasty. Arrogant. Selfish. Ignorant. All of these things, it's fruits. By their fruits, you'll know them. But the word of the Lord for you today is that he is coming to your house. Angels are ministering at this time and this season. So let me give you some scriptures. So in Luke 19, verse 5, Jesus looked up as he was walking along. He was going from town to town, speaking to the people, telling them the good news. So Jesus looked up and he saw Zacchaeus and he said, come down. For today I must come to your house. And you can imagine all the people, you're actually going to go to his house, really? His house and you're not coming to my house. You see, it's what's in the heart of people. God looks at the heart. He doesn't look at the outward appearance. He doesn't look at how you look or how you're dressed. He looks at your heart. So Zacchaeus was on top of the tree, looking down to see if he could see our Lord Jesus. And Jesus saw him. The word of God says he saw him. See, God sees everything about you. He sees what you do. He sees what you say. In Matthew 8 and 14, Jesus came to Peter's house and he saw his mother-in-law sick in bed with a fever. And of course, he healed her. I could go on. There's many times even when the sick man was, was laid down through the roof and Jesus healed him. So he was entering their homes. And also another thing in Revelations 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door. If any man hear my voice, and opens the door. Now we know what this is all about. Jesus wants. You no, know, He comes to your house. This is what I'm talking about. So he wants to visit your home and your family. But we are the temple. Of the Lord. The spirit of God dwells within us. So that's what this one means. In Revelations 3.20. Behold I stand at the door. Of your heart. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him, sup with him, and he with me. So that is what he's doing this last while, especially this year as things are changing. Things are moving, things are shifting, things are being removed, people are being removed, people are being replaced. 
but he's knocking on the hearts of those who haven't let him in. Those who are wallowing, you know, it's life, you know. And it's up to people when God says, move forward. Many don't. Many get stuck in anger, unforgiveness, hate. And hate is murder in the heart. Bitterness, you know, things happen in life and people get bitter. And many other things and people end up coming away from God or their heart gets cold. And the word of God also says in the last days, people will become cold towards each other. And that is very true. So that is another thing that the Lord is doing. He is visiting your family members. He'll send people to them. He's answering your prayers. So don't think just because you don't see anything that God is not doing anything. Of course, God is in the midst. God sees. And his ways are not our ways. So when you pray for something, just know that your father will do it because he says yes. And his will be done. Um, the words that come out of your mouth are very, very powerful. They can change things and shift things. So it's time to give thanks to the Lord. It's time to thank him for answering your prayers. And he sees you and he hears you. And also I have this psalm to give to you. It's Psalm 33. I'm going to read it all for you. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with a harp, sing to him with a psaltery, an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise, for the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, it was done. He commanded, it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. He makes the devices of the people of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He beholds the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. He considers all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy. To deliver their soul from death. To keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope. Praise be to God. So God is good all the time. That pretty much sums it all up. He sees you. He hears you. He's with those. He sees those. He knows those who fear him, who trust him. But also the lost, the broken those who are in the world, those who are addicted, those who are in pain, those who are struggling, those who don't know him. He is visiting those. But you see the tables torn as well. When those who know about the Lord, those who know better, but they choose not to follow him. They choose not to walk the right way. They live their way. That's what God will be visiting also. So I pray that you understand that God is with you. He loves you. He doesn't condemn you. All you have to do is read about our Lord Jesus Christ and how he visited the homes of people, who he visited and how he disliked the Pharisees, the religious spirit, the critical spirit, the holier than thou, I know more than you. 
God loves his people and he's visiting his people. God is a God of second chances, but God also forgives all the time. And we need to forgive each other, need to be there for each other, need to share the good news. Remember in the last message, love is action. God is love. And some, sometimes people don't want that. Sometimes people don't understand the light and the love. But that's where you need to press on and continue. Even if it's difficult, even if it's hard, whether it's in your workplace, family members, friends, be there. To those who are nasty and horrible, who don't receive the Lord, that's their problem. But you continue to be nice and to pray for them because God also loves them. And we're ambassadors of Christ and we have to set the example. So how you're living says it all. So I pray that that has blessed you today and understand that God is doing miracles. God is doing a miracle in your family. Remember, if you have something wrong with your body, there's something going on. You pray, you speak the words, have someone stand in agreement with you and it shall be done. Because God is good. He has people there praying for you and stand and intercede for your nation as well. I just read, you know, a, a nation who serves God. I mean, we need to find that today, but we need to pray big time for our countries, for our leaders, church leaders, leaders in the world. We need to continue to pray without ceasing. And remember at the start, give God praise, give God thanks in Jesus name. So I hope that's blessed you today and God loves you. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He'll change your life forever and you get to be with him as you walk in righteousness in eternity. God is love and he loves you. Come away from the old and move forward. Don't look back. Too many people looking back. Bitter and angry needs to stop. So Father, in Jesus' name, we worship you and we praise you. Lord, I just thank you for every single person who is listening. Every person who's struggling this minute or is worried over a family member or they're going through a difficult time, Lord. I pray peace and shalom in their home. And in every situation, Lord, every situation that's troubling them, I speak peace in Jesus' name. Lord God, this is the season of your goodness and favour. And I speak your goodness and favour upon those who are listening and receive this word in Jesus' name. May they receive miracle finances, Lord. Miracle doors to open. Divine connections, Lord. Divine friend connections. Spouses to come into their life, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. May they walk in the path of righteousness, Lord. And may their fruits be pleasing to you, Lord. Their character be pleasing to you, God. In Jesus Christ's name. I speak healing in bodies. Restoration in families. New jobs for people. Healing in hearts. Healing where there's pain. In Jesus' name. And anything else, Lord, that they are requesting, God. That it'll be done for them as they listen to this message in Jesus name. Thank you Father. And everyone who's prayed for me also Lord. I just pray a double blessing upon their life God. And thank you for each and every one of them. In Jesus name. And Amen. So God bless you all. Have the most wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you again soon. Amen.